I did. But look who I found walking around outside. It's Herbie. <laughs> Remember Herbie? I feel like you guys haven't seen him for such a long time now. But it's great to have you back. Welcome. How was your holiday? Yeah, it was good. It was good. Yeah. What did you get up to, Herbie? Um, to, to improve my trekking skills. I you, was, really? Yeah. Did you do, do an assessment? Yes, I did. What, what level did you manage to get? Um, level three. Oh. He says that so casually. Let me just quickly explain to you exactly about the tracking assessment. So we do these track and sign assessments, obviously to constantly keep uh, improving ourselves. Now you get you get level one, which is, oh, I can't remember the percentage now, but it's the, it's the basic level. Then you get level two, pretty competent tracker. Level three, you're unbelievable. And then if you get 100%, you normally get invited uh, to a special event uh, and have the opportunity to meet some of the master trackers in the country. So well done, level three. That's very impressive, don't you think? I'm so proud of you. You didn't tell me. This is the first time I'm hearing about it too. So that's fantastic. So now, as you all know, Herbie has always got tricks up his sleeve. I miss going on bushwalks, but we hopefully we're going to be doing the bushwalks too. What is on the ground? Look what's on the floor. Hashtag <laughs> safari. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hashtag, please can we have to have it up, hashtag, and then we, missing the safari part, maybe the car key will be the safari, and then the live. Isn't that honestly just one of the most amazing things you've ever seen? Oh, that is the greatest thing. Herbie? Uh, do you want it this way? Okay. Where they were saying it was the other way around. Let's try again. Maybe we can try, someone can add safari in there. Yes, there we go. Why don't you take some screenshots and you can help us out. You can use in your most creative font. You can add the Safari. I've even left a gap for you. And that would be great. And you can hashtag actual Safari Live on Twitter so we can all see it. I think I need a new profile picture. This would be fantastic. Herbie, how long did it take you to make this? This is great. That's good. I'm going to put this in my room. Can I have it? Please. Yeah, sure. I'm just taking it. <laughs> I'm going to keep this for the rest of my life. You know that. I'm going to put it up on my wall. In my bedroom. That is fantastic. Now, um, so yeah, how, how long did it uh, take you to make that? Um, I would say almost the whole day. Almost the whole day. <laughs> well, that's very, uh, very fantastic of you, Herbie, for, for doing that. I'm so impressed. I could never do anything like that. I'm abso absolutely hopeless. So, Herbie, I have a question for you. What are you most excited about seeing when we go on our bushwalks? Um... Leopards. Leopards. You excited to track them? Yes. And well, those are my favorites. Your favorites. Yes. What about finding lions? Because we've had a problem with trying to find the lions. They they're too quick for us every time. We think we on the target and we're on the tracks just a few steps behind. We never get them. We need you. Um. Yeah. I also like tracking or finding lions, but at the very same time. With our trekking and chances being restricted here because of, of these lines crossing to our neighboring property, it's we are just playing a, a, a dirty game of put it that way. So. <laughs> See, even Herbie agrees. <laughs> they are so sneaky at the moment. But why do you think it is that the lions are not staying on the property anymore? Um, I know for sure that our lions here are buffalo specialists, and at the moment we are struggling in finding buffaloes in the property so there will be more in the areas that we know and um, buffaloes are always in that those particular areas oh. which is like for now it's to our south and also to our north fair enough that's exactly it so what i want to do now is um i said to you earlier that we were going to get some clips and um, put together to have a look at what the lions were doing last year and as herbie said the Nguhuma pride are lion specialists so chantal if it's possible can we play clip number two and have a look and see what those lions actually got up to. Look at this amazing action that we've just come across. The lions have managed to bring such a buffalo that they chased him going through the thicket. Now it's a young calf. Come on, lions, you can take this down. Isn't this amazing? Come on, it's a little calf. The rest of the herd of buffalo have raced away. Unfortunately, I think this is the end. Look at this. I think, unfortunately, that this is indeed the end for this buffalo calf. You can see the male now going in. 
grabbing it by the throat. It needs to keep the calf quiet. Otherwise, the herd of buffalo are going to come back and try and chase these lions off. Well done, lions. Well, well done. Oh, you can see he is not letting anybody go to that carcass, which is going to be a bit of a problem because the females may gang up on him in order to get a good feed. The buffalo actually tried to get up again. I can't believe it that it managed to gain that strength, perhaps with all the adrenaline that's also rushing through its body. And then, of course, everybody came through again. And the males grab straight hold of the throat to try and close that jugular. Now the lions haven't seemed to be doing too much more damage to this buffalo just yet. But we've got another lioness who's joined in and is starting to feed. Isn't that unbelievable? Now that, in my opinion, was the best lion versus buffalo sighting I have ever had. And I've been very privileged to have some of those sightings. Actually, my best ones have actually been here while I've been at Wild Earth. I've been very, very lucky. How amazing was that, hey, Herbie? Yeah, that was cool. Really good. And, and again, that's what Herbie said. The, li uh, the lions here are buffalo specialists. So that's what they did pretty much every single day last year for as soon as I started working here. We would go out. We would try and remember where we saw the buffalo from the day before. And we were almost guaranteed, not quite 100% guaranteed, but we'd go in and we'd find these lions. And they either were taking down a buffalo when we got there or they were stalking or they were or they were already feeding on it. And, and that's sort of not the only clip. There's so many of them there. But unfortunately, until those buffalo come back, and if they're just following the reins, just as the animals in Kenya are doing, going to the best areas where the best grazing is, that's where the buffalo are at the moment. And unfortunately, because of the late rains, they haven't quite returned yet. Whether they will return before the next rains, I'm not so sure. I really hope that they do because I'd quite like to see how pride of lions again. I'd like to see how they grow, especially now with those six very healthy cubs. That's going to be quite interesting because they're getting to the age now where they should start hunting, aren't they, Herbie? Yeah, of course. Yeah. So um, we, we also had another sighting. I'll just quickly mention this one. It was really amazing where I was fortunate. It was on Halloween last year. You should remember that driveway. I painted uh, different faces, different animals on my face with eyeliner. It was quite interesting. And we got to experience the young Nkuhuma cubs. They were only about, I think it was like five, six, and seven months old, the, the three different litters. And they actually took down a young calf of that size. Obviously, it was the lionesses that first took it down that actually uh, killed the mother earlier that morning, and the calf was hanging around the dam, so they took that opportunity and also took it down. And then the lionesses sat back once they'd weakened the calf enough, and the little ones went in and they jumped on their backs. They were practicing sort of all these maneuvers that they see the adults doing. And for lions at such a young age, to me, it just goes, wow. How how is that going to affect their experience in hunting buffalo in the future? And that's why I can't wait to get back and start following them and watching these little ones really learn. Because now their jaws are powerful. They're, they're still small, but they could definitely do some damage and actually participate uh, once the buffalo is down on the ground on increasing the blood flow. You've seen how lions also bite on the spine to try and make the animal weaker to let it bleed out. They will definitely be able to contribute. So, Herbie, have you got a favorite lion versus buffalo sighting that you've had since you've been working for Wild Earth? Yes, that was uh, to the east of uh, Vietela Dam. The very same pride in Kuhumas where following a big area of buffaloes and one of the lionesses went for the fully grown um, bulls but he, he went on she went on top of of him but the rest of the buffaloes they came back to help the um, the attacked one so eventually they managed to chase off the lioness wow so it wasn't a case of lions having their next meal but the tables turned and the buffalo managed to chase the lions away. Now, in that clip that you watched just a moment ago, uh, a, a similar thing actually happened. The whole herd came running back in to try and rescue, of course, uh, the young calf. But unfortunately, they just weren't quick enough. And the lionesses stood their ground and charged back and ended up sending the buffalo, running with their tails between their legs and sadly one less member. But there's many other cats on screen, as you know. Byron's with Hosanna. Let's go and see what the three of them are up to.